What's up, man? It's your boy, Freddie Gibbs, on Road to Cinema. Hi, Freddie Gibbs. Hey, how you doing? It's a great pleasure to meet you at the Festival de Cannes. How are you? I'm good. This is crazy. This is a real uh, surreal experience, you know what I'm saying? So I'm glad that I'm able to be here. It's crazy that they invited me. I'm like, what? For real? You play the main character in the movie Down the Kids. Down with the King, yeah. Directed by uh, Diego Ongaro yes. and selected at the Acid uh, Associations. Could you tell me what is the story about? Uh, the story is basically about a rapper who's like basically at the end of his road in the rap game and then um, takes on becoming a farmer. To me, it was kind of like, you know, it's kind of like a race relation movie to me, you know what I mean? Because, uh, you know, this black guy from the hood learning about this white farmer and his world and bringing that to his world. So, you know, it's an interesting piece. After this first uh, year because of the pandemic, how this story sounds now? This need to be in a quiet place and to come uh, back to simple things during the episodes of confinement. Right, definitely. That's definitely the kind of message that it sends, especially, like you said, through the pandemic. It was difficult shooting this shit through the pandemic with all the tests and all of that stuff. So um, it was a real emotional time. But uh, the film, uh, through the course of the film, it definitely uh, brings the uh, character back down to reality. You know what I'm saying? What was it like to work with Diego Angaro? Oh, it was a dream. It was real special because he, uh, like I say, he helped me um, become a better actor as I went along. Like he really, uh, tell everybody, he babied me through the shit, really. He was just, he held my hand. That's really what I needed, um, you know, shooting a film for the first time. I'm glad that uh, my first one was with him. Those Freddie Gibbs and uh, Monet Mark have something in common. We look alike. <laughs> <laughs> nah, um, there's a few similarities, I would say, to myself and Money Merc. I think that Money Merc is probably a little bit more emotional, I'd say. I think that he's more uh, more vulnerable, probably, you know, I'd say. But it was good for me to play the character because it brought things out of me that I didn't know that I had, you know, vulnerabilities and things of that nature that uh, I didn't know was, you know, available in my headspace. So, uh, you know, I'd definitely say we kind of similar, you know what I mean? I, was, I definitely wasn't playing myself, but, you know, I definitely added some elements of myself to the character. How did music and the cinema come into your life? Whew, wow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> music, uh, you know, that it was it started out as a hobby and then, uh, you know, it turned into a necessity. As far as film, I mean, you know, ever since I moved to L.A., I think that I've been trying to be an actor, I'd say. I've been auditioning for a while and, you know, getting offers for like, you know, stuff that I didn't really want to be in. <laughs> so, uh, you know, this came about and uh, it was the perfect opportunity for me, you know. Um, it's definitely what I want to transition into after music, you know. What does it mean to you to be here at the Festival de Cannes and the Acid Association? I uh, mean, it means the world. Um, I feel like I'm definitely the only rapper here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, right now I feel like I'm in a, a exclusive elite um, group of people here. Hopefully they bring me back every year. <laughs> Either way it go, I'm coming back regardless. Was, you know, this could be my summertime vacation, but um, I, you know, I'm grateful to be here. I'm humbled. I'm... Could you share with us any advice for a young man or woman who wants to start in the cinema industry? That's crazy. I only did one movie. Y'all already asked me for advice. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I say um, stick to it because there's going to be a lot of reads, a lot of auditions, and a lot of things that you're not going to get immediately i would just say persistence is key with this and uh just uh knowing your material as well that's the thing really i think just stay prepared man diego taught me that so thank you very much freddie it was nice uh, to meet you with you thank see you, you tonight at the big party definitely i have my tux i have my bow tie on <laughs> yeah <laughs>